After unfolding the assembled umbrella, a craftsman will be able to add the netting. The double curved instrument in the craftsman's hand is used to adjust the distance between the spokes. Although this seems to be a simple technique, it takes a lot of time to master it. A worker usually winds each spoke with string at least five times rather than just once. Winding spokes with string does not only keep the distance between the spokes fixed, but is also useful in preparing for the paper to be attached onto the umbrella hood. After the spokes are wound with string, the basic shape of an umbrella becomes visible. Of course, apart from the bamboo, the proper choice of paper is vital in making an oil paper umbrella. The paper must be made of bark and prepared by hand. But why is this? And how are the beautiful designs printed onto the paper? Today, these umbrellas are still covered with a kind of handmade bark paper. Before paper was invented, umbrellas were covered with silk, but this made them very expensive. The emergence of the oil paper umbrella made it possible for commoners to own one. Early umbrellas were covered with any paper available. Later, however, as aristocrats became partial to oil paper umbrellas, the material used was constantly improved until finally this manually prepared bark paper was developed. How different is this kind of paper from other varieties? Handmade paper is used widely today. Xuan paper used by Chinese artists is one example. Bark paper is produced through largely the same procedures as the production of Xuan paper. Raw materials are soaked in water, then heated, whitened, crushed into pulp, taken out of water, and finally squeezed and dried until they become usable paper. The main difference between the manufacture of Xuan paper and bark paper is that the former is made of bamboo, while the latter of the bark of the mulberry tree. The smooth, flexible and absorbent oil paper made of mulberry bark is ideal for covering the umbrella hood. Cutting the paper is also an important step. The knife must be oiled. The worker should have strong hands so that he can slice a wad of paper with one single cut. The original cutting method is different from the method we use today, but given that 500 sheets of paper can be cut with ease by using this method, we can appreciate its value. First, a paste of flour, salt and sugar is applied onto the surface of the paper so that it will be protected by a film. And then, when the paper becomes dry, a certain amount of moisture will still remain within it. 